Welcome to our channel today. We bring to you the 10 most incredible luxury prefab modular homes in the world. Before we continue, please press the subscribe button and the bell notification icon to receive regular updates whenever we upload a video. Number 10, Felipe Sarive's Modular Home. The walls of Felipe Sarive's family home, which is supposed to seem like a child's conception of a house, are made of black concrete panels. The home is bordered by farmland and overlooks the Castle of Orem, built on a rectangle of ground slopes southwards down to the street. The difference in height between the house's highest and lowest points is roughly 4.5 meters. The pergola, which is cantilevered over the garden, is also accessible from the garden through a series of stepping stones. Meanwhile, the house's northern gable end serves as a garage. Using prefabricated panels with consistent dimensions that were sequentially assembled helped establish a rhythm in the home's facade and roofs while lowering maintenance expenses. Rooms are separated across two stories on the inside, with mezzanine levels and internal glass walls to assist filtering sunshine into the house's significant areas. A bathroom is housed in a single-story volume that branches east of the home and looks out over a tiny internal courtyard. Number 9. Bone Structure, Project 16-708 This contemporary duplex is Orange County, California's first bone structure home. The Pachitos home may be found on the road from the North Shore to Laguna Beach. This project includes views of the ocean, Catalina Island, and the north and south beaches from the lovely curving cliff drive. A zen scene for beach decor is created by combining stucco, wood, glass, and concrete. Number 8. Huff House Flat Roof 4 The modern flat roof home is a bit closer to the street. The extra high entrance door made of ancient oak is a visual landmark, but opens out entirely to the garden. An outdoor patio is constructed here thanks to some intelligent design. The floor plan idea throughout the home, which also houses an extra apartment in the basement, is characterized by flowing transitions and unimpeded views of nature. In addition, an oversized double garage in Huff style complements the two-story structure and offers a consistent overall appearance. Number 7. Weber House The home is 25 meters in width and 9 meters in depth. The separate house's significant floor-to-ceiling glass elements open to the garden side, allowing lots of natural light into the interior. The vastness and richness of the arrangement are immediately apparent upon entering the house, which has a total floor space of 335 meters squared. A floor-to-ceiling door built into the wall divides the entry level into a living area that may be hidden unobtrusively. The open kitchen dining room is the second area. On the ground level, ancillary spaces such as storage, a water closet, the lift, and a hidden bar are arranged as freestanding floor-to-ceiling pieces of furniture. The parrot's suite, which includes a bedroom, wellness bathroom, and a well-appointed dressing area, is located on the first floor. The remaining first floor area is divided into two children's bedrooms, each with its ensuite bathroom and an office. The double garage and a spa room with sauna, water closet, and aquamoon shower are located in a separate freestanding structure close to the main building. The excellent level of craftsmanship and detailing is pronounced. There isn't a conventional feature in this via. Number 6. Via Timmerman, Bornstein Lycaforce Via Timmerman is a semi-detached home created by the married architect duo Andreas Lycaforce and Josephine Wickholm on a southwest-facing hill beside the sea. The architects purchased a parcel of land for residential use and then built a semi-detached home on their dime, with the other half of the house contributing to the project's financing. Because they naturally face opposite directions, designing a semi-detached house with similar attributes on both ends was challenging. They had to sift through the local circumstances, considering the weather, vistas, sun, evening sun, and interaction with the street and neighbors. Finally, the home might be designed so that the sun shines on all sides of the house in the morning, noon, and evening. Number 5. Resolution 4 Architecture, North Fork Bluff House Three brothers, their families, and their parents will use this modular prefab home as a multi-generational getaway. The house comprises four modular modules built in Scranton, Pennsylvania, then delivered and installed at the home's location, which overlooks a cliff with views of the Long Island Sound. The modules are constructed on top of a basement with a playroom and two bunk rooms for the children. The living room extends to a back pool deck with a barbecue area and long built-in seats for sitting, giving several gathering areas for the entire family. The roof deck, which has a wood-burning stove and additional outdoor lounging area, is shaded by a wide overhead canopy. Putting green for the grandpa is on one side of the roof, while a bocce court sits on the other. Number 4. Rec Architectura, Esther House. Because of the location where it is located and cool temperate, 
The home features an L-shaped concrete wall that, in addition to serving as a load-bearing wall, also has thermal inertia characteristics, storing and dispersing heat when it is needed via a heat sink and electronics. A double height area between the dining and living rooms is now utilized as a courtyard, similar to the furniture in a house that allows the user to modify the space. This portion of the home is ready for the pool to be installed. It will provide a covered place while also creating a new terrace above, reducing heat loss. Number 3. Alessandro Isola Fluid Home an architectural back addition and the revival of both indoor and outdoor areas are part of the overall concept. The ground floor main room serves various purposes, encouraging family members to engage and spend quality time together. In addition, a three meter long wood table cantilevered from the kitchen island appears to float, becoming an integrated part of the cooking area, further enhancing this notion. Pivoting panels, both indoor and outdoor, as well as internal sliding screens allow for space reconfiguration and alternative methods of living places. A 14 meter long double height oak timber wall from a certified forest supports the central kitchen island with features such as a staircase handrail, mezzanine railing, display unit, hidden storage pivoting door, and hidden cooking area. Unexpected moments such as the peeling off of the wall to create the fireplace on the mezzanine floors are also part of the concept. Almost everything is done by local individual artisans who have honed a specific craft method over decades. This bygone handmade know-how and timeless quality are delicately combined with technological innovations. The steam room and bathroom, for example, are enclosed within a metal box. Controlling the visual permeability between areas and the natural light that filters through is possible thanks to a parametric design hole manufactured by a CNC machine. Number 2. Skill Pod. Number 150. Zero Energy. SkillPod provides solutions for all sorts of living situations, ranging from 30 square meters to 150 square meters. Small dwellings, plus minus 50 square meters in one module, for social housing or group living initiatives are emphasized. Single parent families, the elderly, and first time renters, buyers, are the main focal groups. Apartment blocks may be built by connecting or stacking modules on top of one another. The number 150 Zero Energy was created by UAU Collective, who also designed the entire SkillPod style. It is assembled in Gilles, Belgium, then shipped in three sections to its final destination. After acquiring the building permission, SkillPod constructed the home roughly three months later. The actual construction time for the house was approximately four weeks. Number 1. Raw Architecture Workshop – Concrete House Concrete House is the world's first structure made of advanced fiber-reinforced concrete a long-lasting, anti-cracking material created by Semex and thermally and structurally evaluated by the University of Zurich. Because of the fiber composition of the concrete, does not require reinforcing steel bars to support or retain the structure, making it the world's first concrete building without rebar in the walls. Raw Architecture Workshop created Concrete House for Adrian and Megan Corrigal and their small family. Adrian was motivated by brutalist monuments such as the Barbican, the National Theater, and architect Louis Kahn's use of light to lure inhabitants through buildings since his childhood was spent skating through Glasgow car parks. Thanks for watching the video! Comment down below which part you liked the most, or click on the thumbs up button if you liked the video.